This is the GBP20 semi-con removal tool. Uh, we can use it on the bonded screen conductor or the easy strip as well it's usable on. Very simple tool to use. Three, three elements of control really. This one tightens the tool onto the cable. Our, depth not, uh, our cutting blade is here which is set with our depth measurement see which way you need to turn it. You've got a minus which will bring the blade out and a plus which will bring the blade in. And also you've got a toggle here which gives you three elements of adjustment. Zero being your circular cut. One being a large angle cut for, for, for larger conductors and two being a small angle cut for a smaller conductor like this one. So the first thing we need to do is measure our point where we're taking off our semicon then apply some silicon grease the silicon grease just enables the tool to move freely once you've tightened it on allows the tool to spin down the conductor if we make sure our blade is fully retracted, offer the tool onto the cable. And we'll start with our guide just at the end of the conductor. Tighten the tool onto the conductor. Nice and tight, but you'll still get free movement of the tool. What we need to do then is to start offering our blade in. You just click slightly until you feel a resistance. You can see the gap between the conductor and the cutting edge. When you feel a resistance you just give the tool a turn and it will start to remove the semicon. And we need to repeat this operation until we can see the white insulation underneath. So, another couple of clicks. Again, we're still not down, so another couple of clicks again. As you can see now we're down to the white insulation. So that proves that we're going to take enough semicon off all the way down to our mark. So what we do now is flick our toggle into position two. The tool will now start to work its way down the conductor. We don't have to force the tool down the conductor, we just turn. We don't put any pressure on towards the crutch. The tool will find its own way down the conductor. Okay, once we're down to our semicon mark, you can see that we've just taken the yellow off, so we're at the right position. We need to put the tool back into its circle cut position, give the tool a couple of turns and that should finish us off nicely. Now it's very important that we wind our blade back out. And loosen our tool off. Be very careful not to drag this blade back up the insulation and put a longitudinal cut in it.
cleaning tissue towards the crutch. This last piece of semi-con will come off when we remove the insulation for our lug or our connector.